seem to go about in formation, and the idea is to get the rope round its tail, and then of course it's easy. Nobody ever trained a porpoise, but judging by their ability to stand on their tails, they have possibilities. An eight-foot, quarter-ton wild animal was here to play with anyone who would apply. It's holiday time among the porpoises, and they charge round us by the handles. We have never seen so many before. Is the U.S. Navy base at Point Wakou? It is also the location of one of the most fascinating experiments the Navy has ever launched program of studying dolphins. Well, now, if you're wondering why the Navy is so interested in dolphins, the reason is quite simple. The scientists have been keeping records on whether the male or female dolphin talks more. For test purposes, this animal is being trained to hold its breath. The dolphin is an expert on sonar, high-speed water travel, underwater communications, and maybe a number of things. It's a the Navy's quite interested in. For the first time, a glamorous new star has been discovered in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's Flipper, the fabulous dolphin. Swimming in public without any clothes on. Well, why not? Who has a better right? It's Flipper, that delightful denizen of the deep. This is Marineland, the Californian sea circus where some of the world's strangest ocean creatures have been pampered and persuaded to put on daily cabaret shows. And how they love it, basking in the sort of personal service that only a household pet normally enjoys. In this temporary pen on the Gold Coast of Queensland, the outsized fish are being trained for a career in show business. There's something almost human in their pleasure as they get their back scratched. So Gino Capari booms one between the uprights from 32 yards out. Flipper. Miami's pet dolphin has himself a ball, while the Patriots have themselves a 10-0 lead at intermission. Flipper knows leather isn't as good as fish, so he returns the pigskin in order to collect a tasty snack. I like rubbery dolphins and flubbery whales, big floppy flippers and short floppy tails. Best of all, I like sea worlds. London's new 200,000-pound Dolphinarium opens in Oxford Street. The stars of the show, a pair of needle-sharp performers, Bonnie and Clyde, share the sessions with two others, Brandy and Sparky. These natural comics seem to enjoy every moment, and like all good performers, they're only too happy to sing for their supper. 30, 40 miles an hour, dolphin power. Don't know about the coming back, but it makes the going easy. We are familiar with the trained dolphin, those put on display, taught to mimic the human voice, and to respond to man's signals and applause. But there are great herds of dolphins still living in freedom, too swift to be easily observed. Little is known about the dolphin in the wild. This air-breathing mammal was once an earth-bound animal, but 60 million years ago, he fled the confines of land for the wide waters of open seas and became the legendary friend of gods, men, and children. Imagine that your life is spent in an environment of total physical sensation, that every one of your senses has been heightened to a level that a human being might only be described as ecstatic. Joseph E. Levine presents George C. Scott in a Mike Nichols film, The Day of the Dolphin. His brain is as big as a man's. It processes information about two worlds, the world of water in which he is born and feeds and reproduces and dies, and the world of air in which he breathes. Is it possible that dolphins are as intelligent as we are? Well, that depends on your definition of intelligence. What about the experiments that the military are I don't know anything about the military. What we do know is that they've been working on this thing since you started teaching your friend Alpha to talk. Unwittingly, he had trained a dolphin to kill the President of the United States. Can you find B? Stop B. The thing on B's back will hurt me. Stop B now. 
the day of the dolphin. Something magical happens at SeaWorld. After arriving in Hawaii at the age of 10, Lassen began his life's work of artistic exploration. a dolphin. My name was Echo and it was incredible. Tonight on an all new sea quest, the ship discovers an alien spacecraft. The key to the mystery? Tell him we're your friends. Darwin. An all new sea quest, 8, 7 central. It's been disclosed that the Soviets used unusual allies to help in underwater espionage, a team of highly intelligent dolphins. I've got one they won't know. Okay. How'd they get the caramel in the caramel car? <laughs> you mean you don't know? Sights and sounds that take you there, wherever there happens to be. Whose idea was this? Introducing Chevy Venture, the minivan with the widest dual sliding doors. So where are they? Slipping in and out has never been so easy.
Dolphin Park. Until today. Scouts swim with the ship. They're supposedly very intelligent, although I've never seen any evidence of it. When she arrived at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, she could hardly swim. But then, she was fitted with a prosthetic tail. Winter could swim again. After the BP oil rig explosion in the Gulf of Mexico, something is killing baby dolphins in large numbers, and their bodies are washing up on shore. A beached baby dolphin covered in oil was brought ashore in Pensacola, Florida. Unfortunately, it died as it was being transported to a rehabilitation center. Experts say we're seeing an unusual spike in dead dolphins washing up along both Louisiana and Mississippi. Scientists say the period between the BP oil spill and now is the Gulf of Mexico's longest ever die-off of marine mammals, especially bottlenose dolphins. A new study also conducted by NOAA says there is a direct link to the biggest oil spill in history and the mass dolphin deaths. Dolphin tourism is fast becoming a big business here. The dolphins seem to enjoy the attention, but conservationists fear they're increasingly being harassed. We told you about a baby dolphin that died at the National Aquarium at Baltimore. And sadly, we're told another one has suddenly died. A little girl who was bitten by a dolphin at SeaWorld. Check this out. It was all caught on videotape. This is a girl whose dream is to one day work with dolphins. More than 120 dead dolphins have washed ashore between Virginia and New Jersey. There is a serial killer on the loose after going after dolphins. Investigators along the Gulf Coast are trying to figure out who is responsible for mutilating and killing dolphins after a string of disturbing attacks here? We have seen animals with their tails cut off. We've seen animals with their jaws cut off. When attacked, pufferfish release a neurotoxin. In high doses, it can kill, but in small doses, it has a narcotic effect. This is the first time that apparent recreational drug use has been documented in dolphins. Kira loves himself some swimming, but really loves himself some dolphins. Oh, oh come on! Oh my, are you sure those are dolphins? No, we hope. Animal lovers are appalled tonight by the death of an endangered baby dolphin. The rare animal was pulled out of the water by people on a beach in Argentina who wanted to take a selfie with it.
For years, we thought that the oceans were so vast and the inhabitants so infinitely numerous that nothing we could do could have an effect upon them. But now we know that was wrong. The oceans are under threat now as never before in human history. And it's now thought that pollutants may be building up in their tissues to such a degree that a mother's contaminated milk could kill her calf. Well, while many of us have been cooped up inside, one big family has been making the most of the peace and quiet. As Reed Butler explains, Port Phillip Bay's 120 Burranan dolphins have been living it up in lockdown. With travel restrictions amid the COVID-19 pandemic having emptied the waters off Hong Kong, Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins have come back to the quieter area. socially distanced, but off the coast of Florida, more boats mean big and sometimes deadly problems for dolphins living in those same waters. It's the center of Japan's dolphin industry, a controversial practice that results in the death and capture of around 2,000 dolphins each year in the area. Yes, you did hear that correctly. Moscow has deployed trained dolphins at the entrance of a key black seaport to protect one of its naval bases. A $20,000 reward is being offered for information on who shot and killed a dolphin. This dead bottlenosed dolphin was found on the beach. Their four-year-old dolphin, Apollo, died today. He is the third dolphin to die at CMA this year and the fifth in the last 19 months. The International Whaling Organization has issued its first ever extinction alert. It says the vaquita porpoise is on the verge of extinction with only around 10 animals still surviving. They're the world's smallest sea mammals and found here on the Mexican Pacific coast. The commission says the species can still be saved if a ban on gill net fishing is fully enforced in the Gulf of California.